Here we go. Hi everyone, my name is Marisa Stone, owner of the Systems Lounge and host of the brand spanking new Women's Biz Systems Podcast. And I wanna welcome you now to the 2019 Premier International Women's Business Systems Virtual Summit Speaker Spotlight Series. This is an opportunity where you get to meet and greet many of our coveted speakers from the different tracks inside our summit. And I am super, super stoked today to have Dolores Hirschman here. She is inside our track four, where she covers her idea method. And that is a brilliant methodology that helps you to really build on your zone of genius as you show up for your audience. Now, for those of you who have not yet taken a look at the different tracks inside the summit, track four is our show up track, where speakers share all the ways in which they show up for their audiences. And I am super, super stoked to be talking to Dolores today. Dolores, as we were preparing for this live, one of the things that you said really intrigued me. You talked a little bit about what stops people from being seen. And I know this is this is kind of one of those topics that everybody struggles with. Why aren't my lives being seen? Why am I showing up on camera all by myself? What's going on? Talk with us a little bit about this. So, and I'll, and I'll give you actually a very a, a personal story on this, but so there's fear of failure and fear of success yeah. are equally relevant and are equally real. Yeah. What I mean by that is that, you know, being seen is kind of the key that opens our success. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good your product, how good your services are. If people don't know about you, there's no way you're going to be successful. You're not going to make any sales. People are not going to look for you. They're not going to hire you, right? Right. And so showing up and being seen and being the spokesperson for your work is something that we must do. But most of us don't do it or don't want to do it. Or we say, I will do it when. Right. So my story of I will do it when. Ready? Right. <laughs> so in 2015, I, I mean, I was growing my business. I was two or three years into my business at that point. I can't remember. Yeah, more or less. And I was like, I knew I had to speak more. I knew I had to be seen more, but I just felt very um, self-conscious about my weight yeah. and, uh, and my looks and whatever. And I'm like, okay, yeah, when I lose weight, I'll, I'll apply to speak. When Oops, I somehow lost you. Hold on just a second, Dolores. I think uh, the system, hold on, let's get you back. Turn your camera back on. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> hold on, you're still muted. Let's unmute you. There you go. That was weird. Oh my God. Well, so, so what, we were being seen and we got scared. You're right. <laughs> Good example, yes. <laughs> well, let's shut down Facebook Live because we're being yes. seen and this is great. <laughs> um, so as I was done in 2015, I was I knew that that getting out and speaking and being out on stages and being seen was what I had to do for my business. But it was always like, when I lose weight, I'll do it. When blah, blah, I'll do it. Blah, blah. I mean, and you can fill in your blank. When my kids are older, when my hair is straightened, when. Right. right. And I have my makeup perfect after I've been to the camera. <laughs> and so the universe slapped me across my face because that was the year that I was asked to take over a license and be the leader of TEDx New Bedford. And this was an event that we put together for 1,200 people, and I was the main MC. Yeah. And as I was growing, like, getting all ready, it was a nine month project. And I was going towards the stage. I had not lost any weight. I actually, I think I went into some crazy diet and ended up gaining more weight because you know, when you get all that, um, that pressure. Yeah. And it got to the point that I literally stood on that stage and we created magic that day. Like the, the, the event was amazing. The audience, 1200 people in the audience were like, you know, incredible. And it was an event that I was, you know, the main, the MC, but also the, the leader. And it almost for me was a moment when I said to myself, standing on a stage and being big has nothing to do with me. 
Yeah. And how much I weighed or not weighed or the hair goes down or up or doesn't matter, the work that I do is bigger than how I feel about my body today. Yes. Because that day we changed lives. The speakers that we put on stage that day change people's lives yeah and what it what it made me think is who am i to stop the impact i'm supposed to have yeah. and understanding that i'm just one link in a chain of serendipity or coincidences that can help someone have a better life and i love that you put it that way because i think it is crucial for us to get out of our own head and start thinking of the ways in which we empower our audience. And that's exactly what you're talking about here. So it doesn't matter whether my hair is perfect or my makeup is perfect, or I'm, you know, the perfect weight or the perfect this or the perfect that, you know, we hear this all the time in the space, published is better than perfect. Get out there and make a difference in the lives of your audience. And that's what track four is all about. Show up, they show up for us. They come to us and they ask us questions and they, you know, show up on our lives and they look for things that we are offering. They're showing up when they're reaching out for us. Now it is our job to return that and show up for them. So I love, love, love that you put it that way. I think if we can all just get out of our head for a minute, <laughs> we'll absolutely be seen, right? And I think you mentioned the track of being seen. I would say everybody listening to this track right now or later it's recorded, is that ask yourself, what is the one thing that is stopping you from being seen? Because you might not even be conscious yeah. that you're hiding behind the hair, the way the fancy camera you don't have, yeah. the application you didn't have time to do, whatever it is that it's in the way, trust me, it's not real. Yes. So putting it there yes. so that you are not, um, that you don't chance. Right. Yes. Yes. And there's a part of our brain. I was having a conversation with another one of our speakers. There's a part of our brain called the insula and the insula's job is to protect us. So anytime you do anything that's, you know, that becomes an adverse uh, situation that you are in either dangerous or otherwise the insula will step in and say, okay, it's time to get us out of here. And the other, you know, the, the hind brain steps in and gets you out of the situation. Well, the insula doesn't understand that because your heart rate is rising and you're getting scared and you're getting antsy and adrenaline is pumping and all of those things, that it's really just that you're going on camera. According to the insulin, you're putting yourself in danger and it wants to get you out of danger. So stop to ask yourself for a moment, is this danger? Because you're really jumping on the screen and showing up for your audience. You're stepping on the stage and you're delivering your talk. You're reaching out to people and you're making those connections. Those are not dangerous things. So sometimes we have to check different parts of our brain and say, wait a minute, it's okay, calm down. I appreciate that you are here to protect me, but you don't have to protect me from this situation. And yeah. move forward, you know? And the truth, Marisa, is that um, it is okay, because it's happened to me and I'm sure it's happened to you, mm -hmm. that you have a panic mode. I remember the first webinar I ever did something like I had like 30 or 40 people on it. I was like so excited and then something went wrong. Like it, I, I don't think they could hear me or something. And I could see them all kind of jumping off one right. by one. Right. I panicked and I shut it down. Yeah. I get panicked so much I couldn't breathe and I couldn't talk. Yeah. Um, or it happened to me on stage right before going on stage the first few times that I started shaking so much I couldn't breathe. And I'm a very outgoing person. So the truth is that that will happen to you, yeah. if it's happening to you, then celebrate it because yeah. it means you're putting yourself at the edge of your comfort zone. Yeah. And all you have to do is stay there, go yeah. through it, yeah. maybe shut down that webinar. Maybe that day you stand on stage and you shake, go shake on stage yeah. because the only way you get over it is through, you, through doing it. Not, there's no magic pill. We all have to go through it. <laughs> there's no magic pill. Pill. Yes. And, and your audience is actually going to respect you even more if you're showing up in that state and you're showing up anyway, right? So speaking of showing up, we now want to take an opportunity and put you in the hot seat. So I want to ask you a handful of questions that perhaps no one else knows about you. 
Okay. I want you to just think of the first thing that comes to mind when I ask you these questions so that we can get a good sense of who you are and how we can build this rapport and this know, like, and trust with you prior to you going live inside our summit. Are you ready? Go for it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's begin at the beginning. What's your favorite food? Uh, ice cream. Ah, yes, I love ice cream. Okay, how about your favorite beverage? Uh, honestly, sparkling water with lemon. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I do water with lemon quite a lot. I love it. Um, what about your favorite season of the year? I love the change of seasons, so it's okay. hard to pick. I'm a skier and I love going to the beach. So my my favorite season is the fact that the seasons change. <laughs> nice. I love it. So it's really, it's really four times a year that you get that transition from one season to the next. Okay. That's pretty cool. What about, you know, I can't leave you without asking this. What is your favorite piece of technology? Uh, my phone. Oh yeah. So many people. It's all about that mobile device. Are you a morning or a night person? Historically, night is shifting, so okay. I, as I get older, it's morning. I love the sunrise. Okay, awesome. Are you a gold or silver person? Gold. Gold, yeah, me too. How about coffee or tea? Coffee. Chocolate or caramel? Ooh. <laughs> caramel for Argentinians is a whole different layer. You you hit a weird spot here. <laughs> Argentina is dulce de leche. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate because there's more options. Okay. <laughs> How about iOS or Android? Apple or Samsung? Apple. Apple. All right. What is one of your weird quirks that no one else knows about you? Ah, uh, um, my weird quirks. I love, well, I, I do this in my life, in my work, but I love, love, love organizing closets. Really? Yes, because I organize people's thoughts. So, right. so okay. I like I will dump something on my bed and fold it. Like I'm packing my daughter for college right now and it's actually fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of closets. You're welcome to come organize. Them. Absolutely, I would love using <laughs> anybody's closets. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what's a bucket list item you have not yet completed? Hard to do. Um, cause I've done a lot. Um, I've even lived in the jungle in a hammock between two trees. Um, I haven't reached my, 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 my multiple seven figure. Okay. All right. That's definitely a bucket list item we want to complete for sure. Okay. The last question I'd like to ask you is what motivates you to show up for your audience the way that you do each and every day? Um, you know, in the work that I do, I work with people. I mean, I call them ideapreneurs. So I have my manifesto there. And I believe that ideas are what make us advance as human species, as human beings. Mm -hmm. and, um, and just knowing that just helping someone communicate clearly that idea for impact will, will allow them to have so, that much more of a reach is what moves me. Yeah. And I love that you say that because I really think that once you find that place where you are passionate and everything you do when you are working and talking and speaking and all the ways in which you show up, you know, you can tell there's that level of passion in you that helps people narrow down that thing they want to do into their, their idea that they can move forward with. And I love that you share that. Thank you so much for everything that you do for your audience everything you do for us, obviously, and everything you do for the attendees inside this summit. Guys, definitely click on the link. It is in the description and in the title. And make sure that you register for the 2019 Premier International Women's Business Systems Virtual Summit. You are not going to want to miss Dolores' talk on the idea method. It is brilliant, and you definitely do not want to miss it. Dolores, thanks for hanging out with us. I've had such a great time with you. Love you guys, and thank you for the opportunity to be seen. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you inside the summit, and we will see you in the next speaker spotlight. Bye, everyone. Bye.